Association of Music, Food, Fun, and Arthur Guinness, of course, the visionary who founded the Guinness Brewery business. The Irish American Heritage Center kicks off that celebration this afternoon, and we have a lot of guests this morning to tell us all about it. Fiona McEntee, Shay Clark, and Mark Hackett join us from the center with more on the festival, of course, more on the beer itself, too, and kind of the history there. So first of all, just welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Tell us about this festival that's happening in Chicago. What, what can people expect if they decide to go check it out? They're going to see some great music for a start. Gaelic Storm, Seven Nations, the Dooley Brothers and Jimmy Moore. Um, pipe bands, dancers, it's going to be a fantastic day. Two stages running all the time. All right, so an entire party it sounds like. A you're, big party. Yeah. A lot of fun to be had. So tell us about this Arthur Guinness history, if you will. You were talking about this during the commercial break. It sounds like this is new to Chicago, maybe the last couple of years? Yeah, I think last year it was Guinness's 250th anniversary, so to kick that off they started having celebrations all around the world. And this is the second year that we've really celebrated it. So. We're doing that with music and, of course, the Guinness. So. Right. Okay. So we're only two years into this in Chicago, but you, we were just talking about how you all are from Dublin or near Dublin. Yes. What's it like celebrating this there? Um, a little bit different, I suppose, because uh, we celebrate it, and we celebrate it probably a little bit longer. We celebrate everything a little bit longer. A little bit longer. <laughs> the party can go on and on and on. Yeah. yeah. But um, uh, Uncle Arthur, as he's fondly called in Dublin, Uncle Arthur Guinness, of course, um, a great guy, and look what he gave us. He gave the world uh, the perfect pint, and we're going to have lots of them at the Irish American Heritage <laughs> Centre this afternoon. You know, culturally speaking, what does Guinness mean to the Irish heritage? Um, I think it's like a symbol of our heritage. It's something that's easily recognisable throughout the world, and obviously people associate it with Ireland and with the people of Ireland who certainly have been known to have a good time. So. Right, okay, well very good. Now, do you want to go, as, there's a certain technique to all of this. Is, this, is this true or is this just something that uh, the marketing people made up? Is there a certain way to actually pour a beer of Guinness? There actually is, yes, there is a technique to it. So. There's a serious technique? Yeah. Okay, are you going to show us show here? Sure First of all, you pull it all the way down and you fill it three quarters way up. Okay. And then you let it settle for 90 seconds. That's true. Yeah. So if you're working at a bar, in Dublin, you're doing this, you're setting these beers aside for 90 seconds. Yes. And do folks really pay attention if you don't do that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they would really? know the difference. Yeah, they would know the difference. Does that happen here in the U.S.? I have no clue. I think people generally know with Guinness what bars are the good bars to go to get a good pint. And generally, it's, whether it's an Irish barman, it's always going to be somebody who knows the science behind pouring the pint. So. So, uh, okay, so now once it settles, now obviously 90 seconds haven't passed, 90 but seconds. is this what happens to it? Yes. Okay, so... And then, then you push the lever back because there's less nitrogen going into the glass then. Okay, so then, uh, then you just leave it at that. Yeah. And you're ready to go ready for to a go. big party and celebration. <laughs> That's it. So uh, tell us a little bit about the Heritage Center, too. For people who haven't been there, I haven't been there yet, and it's something such a really kind of a jewel for the Irish-American community here in Chicago. What can people expect if they go to just check out the center, too? A uh, fine library. Library. Museum, yeah. uh, great bar called the Fifth Province. Um, oh, there's lots to have. Yeah, they put on different Irish plays. It's really a way for Irish people to connect with their culture and also for Irish Americans to get a bit of a taste of Irish culture here. And people who aren't even Irish like to go up there and enjoy it, I think, as well. <coughs> All right. So I'd be welcomed? Yeah. You're welcome Absolutely. I'd be welcomed. I've been to Ireland. You come from, hail from a beautiful country. So Thank I'm sure you. you guys would, if they greet you as warmly here in Chicago as they do in Ireland, you're all set. And that's yeah. the way it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. Very warm folk. All right. Thank you very much to all of you. Appreciate you. it this morning. Let me tell you all about the information. Check out the screen here. The Arthur Guinness Day Music Festival, once again, is today from 4 p.m. until 12.30 a.m. going to be taking it yeah. past midnight here. Again, it's the Irish American Heritage Center. That's at 4626 North Knox in Chicago. Tickets are 20 bucks. So for more information, all you have to do is log on to our website. That is avc7chicago.com. Be sure to click on see it on TV. You're busy at work pouring all these yeah. beers, aren't you? Yeah, I don't, I sure I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that one this early. But very well, thank you so much to all of you.